What is up guys, it's Wayland, and this is a new series that I'm doing. It's going to be called Wayland's One Takes, as you see from the title. So, the beauty of this series being I do everything in one take. So I don't redo it, I don't try to make it perfect, it's just me talking. So I'm going to pick a couple topics each week, and I'm going to talk about them. So, and it's going to be every Wednesday, so just in case you want to know or anything like that. So, the first topic I want to do, do is 9-11, and um, for a period, people who are in America, it's a really touchy subject, and people get really offended by it a lot, so um, I, I just think that a lot of people nowadays don't really care. The only thing they see 9-11 as as a starter to the Iraqi war, and now people are really against it, the war, and I think we've pulled out of Afghanistan now so um, but right as soon as 9-11 happened people were pissed so they actually you know well they were pissed and they like joined the army and stuff like that and for people who are in like high school right now they actually don't realize the how touchy the subject is because essentially 9-11 is the equivalent to uh, John F. Kennedy's assassination. So, people always remember it. People always never forget like what happened that day and how it happened, how it went down, where the hell they were, stuff like that. So, um, since 9/11 being that type of thing, it would seem pretty appropriate to pretty much give a moment of silence. Like it's a very depressing subject, and it really it, it was coming because of what happened uh, in Afghanistan probably around 20 years ago, 30 years ago now and um, yeah so that that's pretty much what happened there like we were training soldiers because uh, they didn't want to get invaded by Russia and we don't like Russians because we're Americans and we're capitalists so yeah that was that was pretty much how that went down and Osama bin Laden was actually part of that and he pretty much took advantage of his training and here we are so um, for me 9-11 is huge like I remember watching it on TV and being like holy crap what is happening and um, it was absolutely devastating like I it's hard really hard to recount how you actually felt 11 years ago but all I can say is it was very very emotional and I don't want anybody to ever experience that in my lifetime but I know it will happen um, yeah so that's pretty much all I have to say about 9-11, treat it with respect, um, that's what it is, and treat people who lost somebody in that accident with full intentions of not being offensive to them, because most of the time people actually don't really understand the extensity of that subject. So enough with that, and I want to talk about Black Ops 2 and the Call of Duty series. And I know a ton of the big commentators have already done this and they just go on and on about it and they get new information, they get new leaks, they get all this different stuff. But where is the Call of Duty series going? To me, the Call of Duty series is going pretty down south. Like I see it dropping dramatically. Especially after MW3. MW3 was a really solid game but it got really old really fast because it was so similar to how MW2, Call of Duty 4, everything was pretty much based off the Call of Duty 4 when uh, the perks came out, when the killstreaks came out, stuff like that. So it, it just got overdone. And I think what Triarch's doing for Black Ops 2 is actually really creative. I don't know why people are like, oh my god, it's Halo, oh my god. It's like... The thing I don't get about comparing Black Ops 2 to Halo is the fact that it's only 13 years in the future when this game is going to come out. 
Halo is around 500, and they should actually, like, a lot of people don't like Halo, but Halo was pretty much, besides, like, Counter-Strike, one of the main starting FPS shooters, and that's awesome, like, Halo is an amazing game in itself. Sure, Reach was terrible in my opinion, I, don't, I know a lot of people that liked it, but it was absolute garbage in my opinion. But, um, Halo, if Halo 4 goes well, Halo's gonna have a comeback, and they're gonna be back in the like competition between Call of Duty and Battlefield. Um, but as for the Call of Duty series, I do believe if Black Ops 2 is a fun game and it, it has a lot of playability, I do believe that the Call of Duty series is going to make a comeback, but I don't see it going longer to maybe than like another five years, in my opinion. But I know that prediction is probably just going to be blown out of the water because Activision just, the magical people that they are, somehow make like people buy their games every year no matter what they do so like for example i think activision made rock band they made up to rock band 3 and they did they had people begging for more so they pretty much stopped making rock band and they just instead of making a rock band 4 they made a rock band um download of content like you just go on internet and download like a uh, different like song or something like that and it had like all the custom keys and stuff like that but um i'm i am very curious where this series is gonna go because like as soon as black ops 2 comes out halo 4 is gonna be out for an entire week around that time and i'm not sure when battlefield 4 is coming out but i have a feeling that's gonna be a very good game as well so we'll see what happens and i'm out peace Oh, I forgot. In the comment section below, tell me what you want me to talk about next week, and I'll talk about it. I'll give my opinions on it. And tell me if you like this series. Tell me if you don't. And we'll see what happens from there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.